Hi guys, it's Jonathan here. Welcome to the Reading Project. Today we're going to talk about the Lego story. We all know this brick. Have you ever thought where it came from? Who invented this masterpiece? Let's meet Ole Kurt Christensen. Like many great inventions, this story is not just one of a great idea, but of a ton of hard work and perseverance and grit. The story starts off in the country of Denmark. Ole Kurt Christensen was a carpenter who was struggling with his business. He was looking for new ways to make money and to make his kids happy. So he started making wood toys. They were of great quality. His four sons helped him with his business and soon word of spread and big orders started coming in. But then the toys did not sell very fast. Ole decided his toys needed a new name. He chose the name Lego. Lego is a combination of two Danish words, Ligot, meaning play well. Then a few years later, his workshop was burned to the ground. Everything was destroyed. Ole almost gave up, but he decided it was too important to support his employees and kids. Not long after, he started to make a few plastic toys. He then got the idea to create a system of toys that would build kids' imagination and creativity. The built a village to test the idea and the idea caught on quick. Soon sales were pouring in. Then they figured out how to connect the pieces to each other. Soon they decided to stop making wood toys and focus only on the connected plastic toys. Then they started to build more and more kinds of models. Each one had to be of the highest quality. Lego's motto in Danish is Det bedste er ikke for godt, which means only the best is good enough. The rest in history. Now thanks to the persistence of Ole and his sons, kids around the world enjoy Lego toys, movies, amusement parks, clothing, and much more. But not of this would exist if Ole and his sons had given up when times got hard. I love Lego. I see myself as a Lego master. I hope you enjoy learning with me about Ole and the story of Lego. Thanks. See you next time.